Hey folks, Sega Sonic fan here, and today I thought it would be interesting to look at the differences between a PC Engine Original and a PC Engine Core Graphics 2. Uh, as usual, I won't be using a tripod here because I don't have a good setup for that. If you want a good setup, feel free to donate to help me, uh, you can donate on my website to help me make better quality videos. Um, since I do these all for free though, uh, right now I'm just going to be making them with a shaky camera, so... Uh, that's why the camera's shaky. My apologies. But uh, yeah, I thought it'd be a cool video because these look almost identical and I'm super curious why uh, they bothered to make two of them, uh, two different versions. However, one of the first tell signs, of course, is this has a proper AV jack with a composite and stereo audio. Whereas this one, which has been hacked now, but is a RF only. This is normally an RF plug and uh, I've been hacking this, I actually got it hacked. So that's the primary difference between the two, but other than that, there's uh, hardly any difference at all. The uh, power plug's in the same spot, the expansion port's on the same spot too. Let's go ahead and turn up the light there. So, um, you know, I guess it makes sense that they did it to uh, add the AV out, but what other differences can we find here? Obviously the case color is one of them, but let's turn this over and see uh, see what we got. Because there are some interesting differences I noticed here. And again, keep in mind that uh, one of them has been heavily, heavily modified. So first thing we'll notice, and I don't know if this is just how mine came, but this Core Graphics 2 is a nice metal plate on the bottom. Whereas the original does not. Now this metal is actually, it's pretty thick aluminum. Um, you know, much thicker than actually what comes in, say, a Sega Genesis or Super Nintendo. So that's kind of impressive right there. What's also really impressive is that you have this uh, shielding here. And this kind of caught my eye right away. It's being pretty cool. Uh, it's grounded here and also down here. And it's being used very clearly to, to uh, ground the uh, data signals that are running from the main CPU and the equivalent GPU and all that. Uh, very cool stuff. Um, they really put some thought into it, making sure that interference doesn't become a problem. Uh, aside from that, there's not too many differences. You'll see a little bit of difference in the layout of the... Uh, this is a 47 microfarad capacitor. It's part of the mixing video circuit here. And um, the other differences you'll see is in the crystal oscillator here. It looks like they added a little bit of extra filtering for the... TTL can oscillator right here, um, though there might actually be pads for it that are just underutilized in this version. Um, what else can I comment on here? Not much else. Pretty interesting though. Um, I do want to make a note that uh, when you're doing an S-Video mod, which is how I got this, it was already modded for S-Video, this capacitor uh, it gets removed, R134, and I had a hard time figuring out what capacitor that was. Fortunately, I got this other unit to to nail it all out. But the uh, capacitor in the schematic for the TurboGrafx-16, which has R134, it's part of the mixing circuit. It goes to a uh, transistor, which I believe is this guy right here. And it says that it's a 27K resistor. So that's what I put in it. And my video works, but it's kind of weird. Uh, turns out that judging from this this one in here it's actually a 4k8 4800 ohm resistor not a 27000 ohm resistor so something to keep in mind if you get a hacked unit and you want to restore composite video like I did I'm not sure that's going to be a lot of people um, you can take a look at the chipset here on the other side um, I'm sure there's other videos of this but it's pretty impressive stuff I like the layout a lot I like the really large heat sink for the 7805 um, there are a lot of capacitors near the heatsink, as you can see over there, which will cause failure a little sooner than other than another location. But it's also kind of necessary because they're regulating the power supply. Um, this unit, as I posted in another video, is already really hacked. These uh, data lines had to be patched over here. Some other minor issues, but um, you know it's working good. This one's been recapped, by the way, and it's been recapped with a lot of ceramic capacitors. Which is why these blobs all over here, these are all uh, 0603, you know, 1, 0.1 or 1 microfarad capacitors because, you know, in 30 years or whatever it's been, you can get uh, smaller sizes for things that'll last longer. 
So that's it for this video. Enjoy hacking your PC Engine and learning about the differences in board revisions. Because that's what nerds do. Yeah! This is Sega Sonic Fan, signing out.